Hi everybody. We operations for our Maria again with another video on cold chain logistics. We take care of numerous points connected with operations and supply chain management. Do visit our channel for more educational recording. Let's understand about cold chain logistics. Cold chain logistics is a technology and process that allows for the safe transport of temperature sensitive goods and products along the supply chain. It relies heavily on the science to evaluate and accommodate for the link between temperature and perishability. Any product known to be labeled perishable will likely need cold chain management. Uh, this would this could include foods like meat and seafood, produce, uh, medical supplies and pharmaceuticals. Some of the elements in cold chain logistics include cold storage facilities that store goods and products waiting to be transported, cold systems systems that bring food food up to and keep it at an appropriate temperature during all aspects of the supply chain. including processing storing and transporting cold transport ensures goods remain at stable temperature and humidity levels cold processing facilities that allow for processing goods and sanitation in mind cold distribution deals with loading boxes or crates and pallets to distribute goods now let's focus on some of cold chain technologies cold chain transportation relies on several methods to keep goods at proper temperatures how long the transport is The size of the package shipment and seasonality are all the factors that affect which method is used. Gel packs often used for medical and pharmaceutical shipments. Dry ice can keep goods frozen for extended time periods. Used for dangerous goods, pharmaceuticals and foods, sublimates rather than melts when coming in contact with air. Liquid nitrogen used primarily to transport biological cargo which are organs and tissues. Extremely cold keep items frozen uh, for longer periods. Eutectic plates also called cold plates. similar to gel packs but can be reused uh, reefers a temperature controlled insulated van semi truck or standard iso container allows for temperature controlled car air circulation quilts insulated quilts can be wrapped around or placed over freight and are used to keep temperatures constant so frozen items will remain frozen for a longer time some regulations in cold chain logistics are product stability packaging transportation uh, monitoring temperature minimums Common cold supply chain management issues can have a real impact on freight shipments. Drivers are typically very cognizant of these potential problems and will do their best to keep for top of them to prevent issues from arising in the first place. Product quality issues for food items and produce quality can be an issue from the start. Proper sanitizing, cleaning, and sorting must be done prior to packaging and loading. Inadequate packaging important to prevent contamination and transport related damage. Air flow can also can also be an issue. Lack of proper documentation. All steps of cold supply chain management need to be well documented. This is especially true during transit, where data loggers that record storage temperatures and conditions can help prevent inadequate conditions for spoiling or load. Shipment or transport delays. Delays are an obvious issue for any shipper, but they can be particularly detrimental when dealing with cold chain logistics, since cold chain technology is a time sensitive. Uh, disrupted climate control or temperatures, temperature variation. can be a big problem in cold chain logistics it can result from multiple uh, deliveries meaning door opening and closing often loading food from the field improper pre cooling extreme weather or other conditions like faulty cooling devices or transports hope you loved our informative video on cold chain logistics for more informative videos kindly like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and stay tuned for our upcoming videos